morning, folks. Um, I'm back with you, Father Ryan. We're talking more about confirmation. And today we're going to look at more of the procedural uh, aspects of confirmation, the procedures uh, in the mass, the actual mass of confirmation. And, uh, as Christmas fastly approaches here, I want to, on behalf of Father Rogers, on behalf of the staff, the faculty here at St. Charles, Borromeo Parish and School. I want to wish all of you and your families a very Merry Christmas. And I hope that God's blessings are on you this season. So your confirmation mass will be fast approaching and I'm sure you're going over it now and you're reading it uh, and seeing what exactly the procedures are. You know, we're talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the receiving of the Spirit. So what's actually going to happen at the Mass? That's the key question. So um, we have a new bishop, David Bonner, and he'll be installed and ordained January the 12th. Uh, and so the hope is that if he's uh, not too busy or overwhelmed with his first uh, initial duties that first month, that he will be here uh, doing the confirmation. The bishop may also delegate a priest to do confirmation. In the past, uh, our Vicar General, Monsignor Sifrin, has done many confirmations. Uh, so we will see just exactly uh, who will be the minister of the sacrament. But in any event, uh, the next few months, you will be confirmed and be full members of the church of Jesus Christ, the Catholic Church. And so this sacrament, uh, you'll be brought in and, you know, the procedures are pretty easy. Uh, they seem overwhelming when you first get everything, but once you start walking through it, it's pretty easy. Um, the bishop will be there giving his homily and he'll be asking you and telling you about the, the gifts. Um, the candidates will be presented, so you'll be presented with your sponsor and I'm sure you're busy right now thinking of uh, confirmation names that you will give uh, the bishop, just like, um, you know, when you pick a saint, that saint that is meaningful to you, that has an importance to you. You will renew your baptismal promises. So when you were baptized, uh, if you're a little infant, you can't talk yet, so your parents and godparents, uh, say I do and yes during the baptismal promise and you will get to renew that. The bishop will lay his hands upon you and bring down the Holy Spirit. And then he will anoint you with sacred chrism. I myself was anointed uh, a few times with sacred chrism and confirmation. Uh, you're anointed with sacred chrism at your baptism. And I was anointed with sacred chrism back in August when I was ordained a priest. These are all signs and symbols of God's great love, sending down the Holy Spirit and consecrating you to himself. Sacred chrism is a perfumed oil consecrated by the bishop. So at the uh, chrism mass, which we have every year, usually at the cathedral, all the oils and chrisms are brought in and the bishop will bless them consecrate them for use. And so uh, the oils and the chrisms that will be used at this confirmation mass were blessed by by the bishop, uh, which happens to be probably the late Bishop Murray at this point. Uh, may he rest in peace. We'll have the prayer of the faithful. And at that point, after the Holy Spirit has been sent down, will have wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. So I encourage you to look at these gifts and maybe pick out one that you might feel you could especially use, you could especially give to others. 
and I urge you to study more the procedures of the actual mass and the great gifts and the great benefits that you will receive in the sacrament of confirmation. I wanna wish you and your families a Merry Christmas. I may see you again uh, slightly before Christmas, but if not, my blessing is upon you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you.